Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our portfolio and we successfully visible it, right? Right now, our um, portfolio is totally dynamic. We can manage it from our back end. Now friend, in this video, I want to discuss about our another most interactive part as a blog site. If you go to our theme, they have some of the images missing actually. Uh, they have some of the images if you go you can see they have some of the blog images they have some of the blog uh, name that is a title and when you click as a read mode then that will be directed to the description page right and also that is a time is visible first of all that is also one of the category so i want to do i want to first of all complete our category part and also how can create some of the relationship between two of this table in this session i will also cover it like step by step everything will be more clear because right now i want to add another features you will learn how to create a relationship between two of this table okay so now let's do that work first of all i want to do i want to complete our category part and then i will complete our block part so for the category first of all i want to do that is our dashboard into this dashboard i want to for the blog i want to create another menu so simply go to our next procedure so the friend that will be very easy because that is only one field right there are no images only one field that is one of the i want to do i want to complete one of the code application so it should be very easy right now because i have already complete that code application with the images right now they have no image only category portion i want to do later i will uh, apply that things in our blog okay so if you understand my previous all that uh, section right now i think that should be not hard for you but i don't want to escape that video i want to create uh, our category portions that means our block category if you go to our back end and into this back end i want to do i will copy everything from to the portfolio okay so everything i want to copy it from here so step by step everything will be more clear index we don't need this portfolio we don't need this index html we don't need this okay so right now i make it as a clean our first job in our sidebar into this sidebar that is a pages right so here i want to do i want to better take only one field right now or rather than two field will be better right now i make it as a little bit left side okay i make it a little bit left side so that will be our block category okay i make it as a blog category so that was a block category and for the block category i want to create two of this page one will be as a add block okay that will be the add block or rather than all block i make it as a all okay all block category and also i want to take another one and i simply name it as a add okay i name it as a add block category great great so first of all if you want to work with the category as i told you there have only one field will be needed right so that is simply only one field so if you want to access it first of all you have to create one of the model the same procedure we have to create one of the controller and also you have to create one of the migration table so first of all i want to do that work so that was a php artisan make model i hope right now it's very clear because we did this work a lot of the time that is php artisan make model i want to create one of the model name as a blog category okay that will be our model name and at a time i want to create one of the migrations table now if you click as enter it will be created two of this file it's successfully created the model and also it successfully created our migrations table now let's do that work for doing this if you go to our model so here i have created one of the new model as a block category which is totally fine and also if you go to that migrations and now that is a block right you can see there is a block categories so here friend i only want to do i want to take one field better i copy it and then here after that idea i want to do i want to take it that will be the string type and i just name our field name will be as a blog underscore category right so that will be the block category and also i make it as a nonable so if you want to change it i hope you already know how to do this work right now it's totally fine i make it as a nonable and also we have to update our blog category so here i want to do and to make it as a uh, sorry here i want to go to our model i make it as a protected guarded for the block category okay so i make it as a protected guard that means right now our field is a fillable great now we are ready to uh, migrate it so if you want to migrate mm, then our common line our common line will be which one that will be as a php artisan migrate right so that will be as a php artisan migrate if you click as a enter 
Now you can see our block category is now successfully created. That is our block category table is created. If you now go to our database and here now if you refresh it, now that should be another table. Right. So now here you can see that now that is another table as a block categories. So here that is our block categories. There is a block category. There is only one field as a block category. Great. So now I'll, we need also one of the um, controllers. So I want to do and to create another console controller. I have already created this before. You can see when you click as the up button, automatically it will be get our previous all that command. So if you want to create that com controller, that will be as a PHP artisan make controller into the home area. I want to now create another new controller. Okay, I just simply name it as a blog category controller. I name it as a block category controller. Now, if you click as enter, our controller created successful. So, first of all, we have to do we have to set up our controller. Simply go to our um, web. First of all, I have to check it in our home. You can see now there is a new controller is created as a block category controller. First of all, we have to do we have to load it. I want to do I want to load it in our web.php. I simply copy it because right now that is appropriate our home folder. I have created on the controller name as a block category controller. Now that will be as a block category controller. And for the block category controller, I want to create another route group. Okay, right now better I copy this one. I copy it. And after that portfolio, I paste it. So that will be as a block category. Blog category all routes okay i make it as a block category all routes and our controller name i have already loaded as a block category controller so that will be as a block category controller one of the group function first of all i want to then to create our um, gate method so if you want to do this work in our right now we don't need this and also block category we don't need this now in our sidebar i want to do and to create another new route for the all block okay so that will be the same here i will actually load one of the data table so I create on the route, the route I put that route name as a all blog category. Okay, so I make it as a all blog category. Now we have to create it, I copy it. Now go to our web, into this web area, our name will be as a all blog category. I put that our URL as a all blog and then the category. Okay, I name it as a all blog category. And here I want to create one of the method as a all blog category. Okay, I name it as all block category method. Now we have to create our method as all block category in our block category controller. Now go to our block category controller here. That will be the same process. I make it as a public function and our method name as all block category. I simply created that method. Okay, and also I make it as a and method. So that will be the and method. Great. So our first job is we have to do we have to access our table right that is our block category table so for if you want to access it we, if you are using that elucent ORM then we have to use it um, access it by the model so here I have already created on the model name as a block category so first of all here we have to do we have to take it so that will be just like where I copy it from here okay here we have to add that our appropriate file location our category name as a block category so i copy it so that is our app models and then the block category so as i told you friend i will copy everything from our portfolio because into the portfolio i have also created total one of the code application right so you can see that is the same process now better i copy it from our all portfolio before i now i copy it and now in our block category here i want to do and to paste it so now I want to do I to create one of the um, new variable name as a blog, okay, block category. I name it as a block category, and then our block category area. From here I want to get that latest all the data, and then that will be return view in our admin. Now I want to create another new folder as a blog, a blog category. I name one of the new folder as a category, okay, block category. And into this block category area i want to create another new page that will be as a block category all okay block category underscore all great now i get all that our block category latest data i take the things with this variable here i pass it in our block category all page so right now i don't have any data but if you ins literally i will also insert some of the block category data so when they have some of the data you shall be get that latest data take the things with this variable now all the data i pass it in our which page in our block category all page by the compact method 
now we have to create both of this folder that is our admin i have already created into this admin i want to create a new folder as a block category now go to our view because from here i return the view file now if you go to our admin there is a resources view and then there is our admin and into this admin i want to create one of the new folder i simply name it as a block category and also i want to do into this block category folder area i want to create another new file as a block category all so that will be as a new file i click as a save as and i just simply want to do and to name it as a block category all dot blade dot php okay so that will be our file so now i want to do i want to copy everything from our portfolio so into the portfolio you can say i have already created as a portfolio all and also here i have loaded the data table right now i want to do to copy everything from here and now in our block category all i paste it okay friend i hope you already know about that part so now that will be as a block category i name it as a blog category all okay so that will be as a block category all and also want to customize it then that will be as a blog category all data and there have only one field will be needed and that is the three field one will be as a serial number blog name i want to display and also the action okay so i name it as a blog blog category name and there is a three one will be our serial number and right now that is our for each loop so into this for each loop what exactly the data i have passed i pass it by the name as a block category in our block category all page now into this block category all page we have to do have to get this data by our variable as a block category and i just name it as the same name as item you can change it as per your demand right now our serial number will be needed our name will be needed right now we don't need this images and 2 dip i want to, to remove two of this dd and then that is our serial number that is our blog name and that will be our edit that means our action right so into this item i want to do to access our field name our field name i name it as a block category so i copy it and then i want to do to name it that will be as a block category right so if they have any data now with this item we are able to access our block category and then that will be our edit and then um delete portion and here right now i am already into the for each loop right now with this item we can able to access our category id right that means our block category id we can able to access it literally we'll by this we will update and that means edit and delete okay so right now friend that's all that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our project that is our back in now that should be another new menu click as a refresh and now you can see that is a block category and into this block category if you click as a all block category yeah you can see it's now successfully loaded right now i don't have any data for this reason it's now display as a nmt that is a serial number block category name and then the action so you know next video i want to work for our ad block category okay how can do this work very easily in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video